The very first fan to meet the 2023 Rose of Tralee this morning was two-year-old Ellie Robinson from Kildare. After a momentous night and a brief 40 winks, Roisin Wiley had become headline news, her very own fairy tale of New York. I've been having trouble putting words to how I'm feeling, but the one feeling that I just feel most confident in is that I just want to represent the other women. We come from all different walks of life. You know, this year we had a firefighter, a, a police officer, doctors, teachers, businesswomen, and, you know, one thing that we were all encouraged to do throughout the whole tour and in truly is just to be ourselves and to embrace, embrace what makes us beautiful and different. Roisin Wiley's parents, Eddie and Magella, emigrated to the US from Kilmallock and Temple Glanton in Limerick when they were in their 20s. Both were here to see their daughter become Rose of Tralee, a proud moment for all three. To see my parents, you know, give me a hug as I walk down the aisle, um, I just know that they are winning this just as much as I am and so it's just I'm so excited for them. Roisin Wiley was the centre of attention at the Rose Garden in Tralee. The 27-year-old New Yorker works as a sales and marketing executive in Manhattan. Every year the pros and cons of the Rose of Tralee is debated on the streets, on the airwaves, in the newspapers. But here in Tralee nobody has a bad word to say about the competition. No, it was a great buzz last yeah, night. Yeah, it was. We went oh, up, we were fantastic. Here on the stage. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it was lovely. And the fireworks were absolutely oh, fabulous. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> It's great for the Irish abroad as well, you know, it brings hope back to Irishness. It's all about that and all about fun. We are so happy to see everyone coming in and asking for Nelson. I'm going to Rose of, of, of Trali party. So, yeah, so far so good. Mm -hmm. They've done a great job, so hopefully onwards and upwards next year we'll have an even bigger and better festival. Theresa Mannion, RTE News, Tralee, County Kerry.